Union Test Prep's Mechanical Comprehension Practice Test for the ASVAB exam. Please note, there will be a brief pause after answer choices are given. This is a great time to pause the video to solve. Question 1. Newton's laws are principles that explain A. The behavior of sound waves B. Most physical phenomena C. Electricity and magnetism or D. The motion of bodies The correct answer is D. The motion of bodies. The mathematical formulation of these laws was made in 1687 by Isaac Newton in his book Philosophe Naturalis Principia Mathematica. He stated that all motions are described by three fundamental laws formulated in mathematical terms. Question 2. Susan is holding a box in her hands. According to Newton's third law, the force that reacts to the weight of the box is A. The normal force that the ground exerts on Susan's feet B. The gravitational force that the box exerts on the ground C. The normal force that Susan's hands exert on the box or D. The normal force that the box exerts on Susan's hands The correct answer is C. The normal force that Susan's hands exert on the box. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equivalent but opposite reaction. In this case, the weight of the box is held by Susan's hands, so the force that is reacting to the weight of the box is the normal force that Susan's hands exert on the box. The normal force is defined as the force that a surface exerts on the body that is in contact with it. Question 3. The branch of physics that studies motion and its causes is called A. Statics B. Kinematics C. Dynamics or D. Continuum Mechanics The correct answer is C. Dynamics. Isaac Newton is known as the father of dynamics due to his three laws of motion. Static studies bodies with no acceleration, in rest or moving at constant velocity. Kinematics refer to the study of motion without taking into account its causes. And continuum mechanics studies the motion of bodies modeled as continuous masses rather than as particles. Question 4. Which of these accurately describes 1 Newton? A. The force that is applied on a mass of 1 gram produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. B. The force that is applied on a mass of 1 kilogram produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. C. The force that is applied on a mass of 1 gram produces an acceleration of 1 millimeter per second squared. D. The force that applied on a mass of 1 kilogram produces an acceleration of 1 centimeter per second squared. The correct answer is B. The Newton is the unit in the international system that describes force. It is a derived unit, meaning that it is a combination of the fundamental units. The fundamental units for mass, length, and time are kilogram, meter, and second, so the unit for Newton should be one that combines these units, which is kilograms times meters per second squared. Question 5. A force of 500 newtons is applied to an 800 kilogram object that is on a horizontal surface without friction. Which of these would be the acceleration of the object? A. 0 0.625 meters per second squared. B. 0 0.230 meters per second squared. C. 0 0.725 meters per second squared. Or D. 1.600 meters per second squared. The correct answer is A, 0.625 meters per second squared. According to Newton's second law, F equals M times A, where F is the force, M is mass, and A is acceleration. Clearing for acceleration and plugging in the given values, we get the following. Question 6. Ryan is standing, pushing a wall that cannot be moved. Which of these statements is true? A. Ryan cannot be in equilibrium because he is exerting a net force on the wall. B. If Ryan exerts a 200 Newton force on the wall, the wall will exert a 200 Newton force on Ryan. C. The friction force that is acting on Ryan's feet is pointing away from the wall. Or D. Ryan cannot exert a force that is higher than his weight. The correct answer is B. According to Newton's third law, when an object A exerts a force on an object B, the object B will exert a force on the object A that is equal in magnitude but opposite. For surfaces like the wall, this is called the normal force. Question 7. An 80 Newton force is moving a 25 kilogram cart horizontally to the right with an acceleration of 0.5 meters per second squared. What is the magnitude of the friction force that is opposing the motion of the car? 
A. 67.5 newtons B. 71.3 newtons C. 153.7 newtons or D. 61.8 newtons The correct answer is A. According to Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration, and there are two forces acting on the car, the 80 Newton force acting to the right, F1, and the friction force that is opposing this motion, F2, so we get F1 minus F2 equals M times A, or mass times acceleration, and clearing for F2 and plugging the given values, the result is the following. Question 8. An apple is falling from a tree. Which is the force that the earth is applying on the apple as it falls? A. Gravity B. Mass C. Normal or D. Weight The correct answer is D. Weight is the force that comes from the acceleration of gravity when it acts on the mass of a body. It is the product of mass and gravity. Weight equals mass times gravity. It is a vector, so it is characterized by a magnitude and a direction applied to the body's center of gravity and pointing toward the center of the Earth. Question 9. When there are no forces acted on a body, or the sum of all acting forces is zero, the body blank or blank? A. Moves with accelerated motion, doesn't move. B. Moves with uniform linear motion, moves with accelerated motion. C. Doesn't move, moves with uniform linear motion. Or D. Doesn't move, moves with oscillating motion. The correct answer is C. This scenario is described by Newton's first law, or the law of inertia. It states that bodies will keep their acceleration, whether it is zero or constant, if no forces are acting on them. Question 10. A man with mass m is standing on a scale, which in turn is inside an elevator. If the elevator is going down with an acceleration equal to gravity, what will the scale weigh? A. mg B. 2 mg C. Negative mg or D. 0 The correct answer is D. 0. Applying Newton's second law to the man, force equals mass times acceleration, the man is exerting a force equal to his weight on the scale, and the scale will read a force equal to the normal force that is opposing the motion. Then we get the following. So clearing for N, we get the following. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the ASFAB exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash ASFAB.